And this weather is kind of ideal for the melt-off and the runoff from all this snow. You're exactly right. We like to warm it up and then cool it back down and then warm it up, and that's how you bring it down gradually. We're in a bit of a cool pattern. Tomorrow we're going to warm up. Sunday we're going to cool back down. Talking about spring seasons all in a picture, the blossoms on the trees are going crazy. The leaves are out in spots. The snow is still in the mountains. And we're just going to keep adding to that snow with a significant storm coming in this weekend. We're talking a foot to a foot and a half, maybe more up in those northern mountains and the valleys. Oh, do we get the rain. Today, it was kind of cool. 58 in Salt Lake City. Denver went to 75, but 50s and 40s go all the way to the north from Cheyenne to Great Falls to the south. 97 in Phoenix and 91 in Las Vegas. It was definitely warm there. As we look to the west, we actually had a weak little storm that came by this morning, brought a little bit of snow to the mountains. Uena's got four inches, Alta got four inches, and a few raindrops here in the Salt Lake Valley. It's 52 now, 40s in Cedar City, 70s in St. George. So what's coming? Well, our next storm, here's this big, big low pressure up in the Pacific Northwest. Cold air is coming in out of the Gulf. We're going to get a beautiful in-between day on Saturday, but the south winds are going to pick up in the afternoon, and those south winds, they're going to bump those temperatures all the way up into the 70s here along the Wasatch Front, and the storms that are to the east, they're going to continue to move out of the region. So let me go and show you what we're dealing with. There's that trough of low pressure moving in. When will it arrive? Take a look at our storm zone. So during the day Saturday, plenty of sunshine, wind picks up in the afternoon, clouds, they roll in in the late afternoon and evening. Then the front moves through Saturday morning with valley rain, scattered thunderstorms, chance of rain to St. George in southwestern Utah, and then the low comes in with the cold air. Sunday night into Monday, those snow levels get driven down from the mountains to some of our benches where we could get one to three inches of snow on the benches. The valley rain continues Monday, even into Tuesday and Wednesday. And the totals, an inch to an inch and a half common in the valleys. Benches could get one to two and the mountains, eight to 16 inches up in the higher elevations with the cottonwoods, possibly one to two feet. Tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, 70s for highs, a lot warmer, all because of those south winds that are coming through. Southern Utah, 86 St. George, 90 in Mesquite with 80s over in Moab. And as you go to the seven-day forecast, Southern Utah, St. George, we're going down from the 80s to the 60s. We'll rebound nicely, but it's going to take a few days. Sunshine in 70s and 80s next week. In northern Utah, we're talking mostly sunny skies. Winds develop in the afternoon. Temperatures manage to get back into the 70s. 77 in Salt Lake, 78 in Sandy, 77 in Provo. And as you look at the next seven, well, we go kerplop as well. From the 70s to the 50s, rain Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Gone by Wednesday, Thursday. Slightly warmer by next week, but... It's going to be a cool one. Okay. Do everything you can tomorrow if, you, if it's outdoor <laughs> stuff, right? <laughs> that's, that's right. That's it. All right. Thanks, Kev. You bet.